for seven. Okay. And now we can actually delete this photo. It was just for reference. Now let's select all of our image place holders and let's set the outline back to white. Beautiful. So this is how we created the Polaroid um, image place holders. We can actually move them a little bit to the uh, to, to the right side, so we know it's not very close to the edge. Okay, and now let's uh, activate this layout that we have just created, Polaroid, and let's fill all of these image place holders with photos. So all you have to do is just click on these icons insert any images that you want and as you can see images are rotated automatically you don't need to rotate them and for the last one first uh, just bring it to the front fill it let's see which which photo we could use so this one and send it to back and this way you have you know created awesome looking polaroid photos let's check it out in the full screen beautiful now let me copy all of the text boxes which i have already done all right and this line well it's just a simple line so it's uh, very easy to create so just go to insert shapes lines and hold down the shift key to you know draw a straight line adjust the thickness the weight and the color and that's it for the text boxes you already know how to do the text boxes and let me show you how you can animate these uh, you know photos because in my uh, preview, let me show you what kind of animation I did. So as you can see, all of these photos fly in. And let's just uh, do that right here. So first of all, select this uh, you know, most bottom uh, photo. Go to animations. Click add animation. And click more entrance effects. And let's look for let's look for pinwheel yes let's see how it looks like just click on animation painter and click on this button to preview so let's uh, reduce the duration to one second so it's you know flies in faster okay and now we can select this photo click on animation painter and we can paste this animation uh, to the rest of the photos just uh, select uh, three of these uh, last photos and click on after previous so you know the rest of the animations will start automatically after each of the previous animations <laughs> well let me just show it to you so first of all i click and then all of the animations come in beautiful so we are finished with uh, slide design number six and now we go to slide design number seven all right so for the slide design number seven let's go to the next powerpoint template which is called a pitch deck proposal and on this template i have noticed noticed <laughs> Not only notice but note it as well slide number 19 and let's find that uh, slide this is the one and let's copy it copy the preview let's get back to our presentation paste the slide preview right here insert a fresh new slide and on this slide design, once again, the most interesting part, well, at least for me, is how to create, well, I know how to create, but maybe for you, it's interesting to know how to create this kind of uh, custom image place holder. Once again, it's uh, one photo and it has these additional 
a yellow color overlays so let me show you how to do it so first of all let's go to insert shapes and let's choose a rounded rectangle let's make it you know fully rounded and now let's just uh, draw these uh, shapes let's make it a little bit longer so that it covers the whole shape now we just uh, duplicate it and move this one here now let's duplicate once again here actually uh, let me whoops let me create this shape first so it should be touching the right edge of the slide okay and now i will just uh, right click on these uh, three uh, shapes and distribute them horizontally so there's no there's there is equal space okay all right beautiful now we can finish the rest of the shapes okay you can always hold down the uh, shift key so that your objects uh, move you know in straight lines all right so everything looks beautiful now let me actually duplicate this slide so that you know we have a backup copy of this uh, of these shapes now i'll just select all of these shapes and go to format merge shapes and union so they become one object just zoom in zoom out and now let's just you know crop this shape so i'll just uh, draw one shape right here one shape right here and i'll union these orange rectangles so now i select these rounded rectangles then the orange rectangles and from the merge shape options i choose subtract and this way we have created this uh, this kind of interesting shape now we have to cut it go to uh, slide master view as you can see i love using slide master view because you know we can create a reusable image place holder and i'll just duplicate this blank slide layout and let me move it below the rest of them and here i paste this shape that we have just created let's just align it to the right and to the top now let's insert image placeholder which covers you know all of this shape let's send this image placeholder to back now while holding down the shift key select our blue shape merge shapes and intersect as you can already start seeing all of these steps that i'm doing for all of these uh, slide designs steps are pretty much uh, you know similar but maybe the shapes are different so you just have to get your creative juices flowing and you know just uh, find ways how to create those shapes and hopefully i help you you know to understand how you can do that okie dokie so um yeah now we can close this uh, slide master and we can um, actually delete this picture right here and on this uh, on this slide on this empty slide let's go to layout and let's choose our slide design let's fill it with any photo for example this one all right and now all that's left to do is create these colorful you know overlays so we can delete these three shapes we just need these two uh, you know shapes and this one uh, so once again let's do a little bit of chopping and cropping so you know the color of the shapes uh, really does not matter i just union these guys i select uh, oh i have to union these guys as well and now subtract these guys <laughs> union these guys subtract those guys you know everything is very clear and um now we can delete this slide and here 
I paste these guys, <laughs> remove the outline, 